Oh, yeah. The sweet sound of Tuesday. Look out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Angel, Angel's brain over there. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. A little little uh, fumble ruski before the show here. No, 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 no. It's your birthday. It's a celebration. Champagne, champagne style, right? Yes. Let's yes. go. Yes. It's like it's uh, you're, uh, if you were on the Indy 500, you'd be drinking milk, but you'd be popping the champagne, right? Exactly. Uh, this is our golden champagne right here. Happy birthday to you, my friend. We'll definitely, we'll definitely uh, um, talk about this more. We got some surprises for you. Angela Trinidad uh, turning 21 today, so we're very, very happy about that. Um, I, I think that uh, that doesn't work out with, with, his, with his children's ages, but uh, we're going with it for now. Or like I, I I told someone today. Well, I told I gave two different answers. I turned twenty one for the eighteenth time, <laughs> uh, and the other one is uh, I'm a year older than I was last. So there you go. There you go. That that's that's the best answer you can give. And uh, you know, at, with every year, it goes a little bit faster. Am I right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, let's have some fun tonight, and uh, let's do this. Let's welcome From the top. From the top, let's welcome everybody to another Tuesday. This is the weekly beer baseball broadcast. We're a little bit country. We are a little bit lock and lull, keeping baseball history alive one beer at a time. Collectively, we are the beer baseball blog, the adventures of craft beer and baseball, and welcome to episode 110. We've done 110 straight weeks. Crazy. This is June 2nd, 2022, and so let's get into it. Wherever you are watching us live today, please give us a like and a comment. Let us know if you're out there, and as always, we'd appreciate if you subscribe and turn on those notifications. Some housekeeping before we start. If you'd like to support us and all of our efforts here at the Beer Baseball Blog, you can buy our stickers, buttons, and beer coasters on our Etsy page. Go to beerbaseball.store. If you'd like to become more connected and involved with us, become a Patreon member for as low as $5 a month. Go to patreon.com forward slash beer baseball. I'm going to scroll our current Patreon subscribers right now. These are the wonderful people who make us super motivated every week to come back and do a better and better show. Um, and I, 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 like I said, we're a freight train. We're not, we're not slowing down at all. And, uh, Looking forward to every, every week here at the Beer Baseball Blogcast. Here's a lineup card for today. In the leadoff spot is the VP of Content Development here at the Beer Baseball Blog. And it's his birthday. Rip it, 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 it's your birthday. I wish I actually had that uh, sound bite, but uh, that you, you can have to just have it from me for now. Hey, that, I think that's <laughs> even better than the sound bite. <laughs> well, we're, we're so happy that uh, we get to spend uh, uh, your birthday with you, Angelo, and uh, we're going to talk some beer and baseball. Uh, are you in? Uh, I'm 100% in, and uh, thank you for the uh, warm greetings. I see the birthday wishes in the chat. And yes, uh, Ed Brown, uh, the Angels did fire Madden and uh, promoted Nevin for my birthday. So <laughs> I don't know if yeah. that's a good thing or a bad thing. Time will tell. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for the birthday wishes. And uh, there's no place I'd rather be than celebrating on my birthday here with my brothers here at the BBB. Had some family celebrations over the weekend. So now it's time uh, for the uh, for the uh, brothering celebration, if you will. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, we, we actually have um, some <coughs> well-wishers for you. So uh, let, me, uh, let me put up uh, Daniel from Halo Haven. Hey, Angelo, happy birthday. Hopefully, from one Angel fan to another, this is what we need to turn the season around. It's just a good birthday celebration. Have a good birthday, man. Awesome. Now, now I, I want to preface that, that he sent that before Madden was fired today. Wow. <laughs> Predicting the future. Yes, yes. Um, so... Um, I was hoping that it was your birthday that's going to turn around the angel season. Um, but yeah, this is uh, kind of kind of a, a weird thing. Both. 
Could be, could be, yeah, a- anything. I-, I was actually surprised by the move, um, but as That's an Angel right. fan, I- I'm-, I'm wondering if you were surprised by it. Yeah, I was surprised. You know, I know there's there's been uh, Angels fans, the pundits, if you will, online uh, calling for it, but I, th- I just thought it was a little bit abrupt. Um, I think the Angels have ma- managerial wise have made a lot of decisions uh, in haste uh, since. Sosha's tenure ended and they're not really giving uh, any oppor- any manager an opportunity to really succeed. Yeah, they're on a 12 game losing streak, but prior to the 12 game lo- losing streak, they were 27 and 12 and leading the AL West. Yeah. So, um, you know, if it, it, is it going to be the right move? We'll, we'll see. Um, yeah. You know, they, I saw someone mention too, they have you know, a handful of players on the, on the um, IL right now. Um, you know, it's, you know, pitching rotation still finding the rhythm. The bullpen is constantly a thorn in her side, but you know, we'll see. Time will tell. But uh, you know, we'll you know, we we play on and the show goes on. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, and 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 the fact that he actually you know started uh, as a coach with the Angels, I thought that he had a, a you know a little bit uh, more time to develop it. Decimated by injuries, that's obvious. With you know like Trout's long injuries and even Otani's injuries. Uh, getting through it, a lot of underachieving pitching, and uh, you know, so. Um, but I think that he did a great job, and I thought he would also have a little bit further tenure, also because he, re- I mean, he he took Tampa Bay to a World Series and won it with the Cubs, and I, that was my thing. That I'm like, you're bringing in someone who turns around, uh, yeah. you know, a franchises to you know to go to be winners. So, um, did he have enough time? Maybe, maybe not. He did have uh, enough talent, and uh, but yeah, that was that was tough to see. So also, let me uh, uh, put this out there. Uh, Big Teach coming in with a birthday message. Good afternoon. Coming to you pre-taped from Upland, California, uh, from the McCormick Trap House out here in beautiful Upland behind uh, the good old rock quarry back there. Um, Wishing Angelo a happy birthday. Very blessed to be a part of your life and your family's life and uh, looking forward to many more birthdays uh, and memories with you. Uh, hope you had a great weekend and a happy birthday today. Um, love you, buddy. Awesome. 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 That's great. Big, so big thank you. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it. Appreciate the birthday love. Right on. Next, he's a field correspondent and senior research analyst and would you would you expect it? He's on the road still, <laughs> so he'll be here uh, very shortly. Uh, but hitting third is the Goodwill Ambassador and the Sultan of Swig here at the Beer Baseball Blog. It is Cowboy Jack Durango. If oh. you like Ken Griffey Jr. and breaking packs on YouTube and the feel of the ocean and the taste of craft beer. If you like getting drunk on Tuesday on the Beer Baseball Blog, then you're the Angelo I've looked for. Come with me and escape. Happy birthday, Mr. Vice President. You're the president of my heart, sir. What a merit. Yes. That was amazing. <laughs> you, you, you didn't fail, that's for sure. Wow. That was amazing. Glad you liked it. Love it. Love it. Always, always. You, you always bring the fire. Always bring the fire. Oh. Love it. Listen, I don't have baseball knowledge. I don't have good looks. I'm not a wealthy man, so I got to bring something, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with all of those. You, you, ah. you bring, you, you bring a, a, a wealth of, uh, of fun, which, which trumps any knowledge you may not have. How about that? It does. And the baseball gods are smiling on me. That they are. And they, I saw they Greg Hall. Me. Yeah, they gifted me with uh, Mike Judge and Gina Carano Stanton from the uh, Yankees on my team. And it's it just Judge. home runs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Mike Judge. Well, Mike, Judge, Mike Judge. Gina Carano uh, Stanton. There you go. <laughs> Awesome. So let's get to it, guys. Let's do it. What are we drinking tonight? And Angelo uh, doesn't know his uh, – we actually got him a gift, a couple gifts, 
and some of it was beer. So uh, let's reveal that right now. Uh, Angelo, tell us about right. the beers that we got you. So I got gifted two great beers, um, the both of which I have not had yet, uh, which is fantastic. So uh, the beer I'm drinking right now is Radiant Haze by Toppling Goliath Brewing Company, a Cowboy Jack favorite. And uh, also I was gifted, um, I've had the 394 Pale Ale before, but from Ale Smith Brewing Company out of San Diego, California, the Hazy 394 um hazy san diego style pale ale and uh, i'm equally as excited to try that one but this uh, i'll tell you boys this uh radiant haze did not disappoint yes nice nice so thank you so excited. much yeah thank you guys so much for the gifts appreciate it and uh, i'll be enjoying these dude the true gift is me being in your life dude i mean is there any greater gift though there's not <laughs> i mean it's disputable that Flowing hair like Ian from a sports card is the greatest okay, gift. Okay, all right. I don't have flowing hair. I get it. I'm not but, a. I'm not a pretty boy like Ian. But uh, <laughs> he's working see, on. Let's it. see Ian sing a song every week, Daddy. Touche. <laughs> Jack is working on the hair thing. So so give him a, give him a little. Yeah, just like Madden. Give him a little time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and uh, Greg Hall brings up a good point. Uh, if you're shut up by Michael Walker, uh, it's time to go. And I, as a Cardinal fan, I will totally agree with that. Um, although uh, Mike Matheny put him in as a reliever and uh, basically uh, sent the Giants to the World Series. So um, that, that, that's a whole different story. That's, that's, that, that hurts. That hurts the side right here. Hey, we have, we have um, proof in the chat. Ian sending me a lock of hair for my birthday. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Send that to the lab, Jack. Can you tape that onto the back of your head? Like, uh, who is that UFC guy, Chemo? Like, dude, I'll do that, it. Like the little gimmick in the back, dude. I'll do it. <laughs> I, I, I thought I thought you were gonna take it and and clone it. it uses DNA and clone them. Oh, shoot. good point, dude. <laughs> Angelo, I'm thinking way past you. Yeah. <laughs> Angelo, get on that. Get on that cloning technology. <laughs> I would just like smell it and sleep with it, dude. I, <laughs> a lock of hair. On, moving on. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Let, uh, let's get to what you, your beer that you have for tonight, Jack. Tonight, I'm having a Beer Research Institute Urban Art. I got it for the art on the can, dude. I love a, I love a good graffiti style. Like, I'm a trailer park kid at heart, dude. So, that's what I grew up around. And man, I got to tell you, 6.5 ABV, 50 IBU, a New England IPA. It's a crushable IPA. Like this isn't uh, like toppling Goliath is maybe like three at tops or three at most, the Radiant Haze. This bad boy, it's summertime. You're going to be in the pool a lot. You're going to be out dancing around, barbecue. And this is one you can sip on all day. Not a bad beer. I got to tell you. Nice. Nice. And uh, did, did you get this suggested by or or is this something that you saw and picked up? I, You know what? I ran into uh, my favorite beer, my favorite tap room, the uh, Cactus Tap Room in Peoria, Arizona. I saw the can. I was in a hurry. I liked the can and I grabbed it. And man, I, can't, I couldn't be happier. It was a great choice. Nice. I'm in training camp right now, so I can only grab one and I'm regretting it. I'm regretting it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, remember, pace yourself, pace yourself. It's, That's uh, right. yeah, you'll, you'll get there. You'll, you'll remember you have to live longer and then you can drink more beer, right? Sure. And that, not, not drink it all now. And then, then, you, then you yeah, go away. I, I can, I can either walk down the hill and drink all the beers or I can run down the hill and drink seven of them. So tonight I'm walking. <laughs> So uh, my beer tonight is a is a very fun one, um, and it's got a little bit of a backstory. So this is the What We Brew in the Shadows from Stormbreaker Brewing in Portland, Oregon, and it's nice. a New Zealand style pilsner. So Ooh. what makes it New Zealand? I believe it's the New Zealand hops. Uh, actually, I, I take that back. Um, the actually the hops are are different. So um, I think that it's it's based on. Uh, uh, a style of pilsner from New Zealand. So, um, so I actually probably should have done more research on that as I'm looking at it here. But it's 4.9 uh, ABV, 24 IBU, so not not too bitter um, and not too high in alcohol. 
and uh, it says it's a lager with some bite. Um, uh, Motueka uh, Pacifica hops shine through this tropical melon lime expression. Premium uh, German malts provide smooth foundation for easygoing drinkability. And I actually was gifted this beer. So uh, for those who don't know, um, this is my Tuesday show, uh, the Beer Baseball Broadcast. I have a Thursday show that you can find. Um, it's carverscreators.com. And uh, Kevin came out because this weekend in Pasadena uh, was Monster Palooza. And this guy right here uh, decided to come out on Friday night. And yes, um, yeah, so um, uh, my friend Paul Dever there on the left and Matt Harper, a childhood friend, uh, they are pumpkin carvers. So they, they actually carve uh, butternut squashes and and pumpkins. Um, Paul won Outrageous Pumpkins on the Food Network and Matt was on Halloween Wars uh, in 2019. He was a finalist on Halloween Wars. So um, we, we went to this convention. It's all like horror movies and like, you know, they had people like like Nev Campbell was there. Skeet Ulrich was like signing and, and all these other horror movie people. Right, bro, the uh, and, Skeet was there, dude? Yes, yeah, Skeet Ulrich, hey, yeah. Billy Zane was there. Come Billy on. Zane, Zane, dude. Yeah. Billy Zane was there. Right Wow. I, if, I, yeah. if I was, I think it sold out. I still was questioning, but Tim Curry was doing photo ops for like $120. I'm like, that's a lot of money, but it's Tim Curry. But right, I don't think he's right. in the best shape. Like you couldn't even buy autographs from him in person. You had to buy him. I guess he signed them ahead of time. So right, but that's a really so we, fun thing for sure. So we had a booth there and uh, it was promoting a YouTube show. And it was like, it went over like gangbusters. Like we were, we were the only people doing it. And uh, it was, it was pretty cool. So um yeah, definitely want to put it out there. Carverscreators.com. We uh, live carve every week um, on YouTube on uh, Thursday nights. So definitely check us out there if you like that. So there was another artist there. There was a, a guest on our show, and his name was Joey Edwards. And then so this is some of his work. Now, my guys carve uh, pumpkins, but this is actually etched. So what they do is they etch oh, it. Oh, that certain, guy. Oh, I didn't Yeah, know certain that. depth. Yeah. Right. And uh, and then uh, they light it from behind. So it, it, it turns out really super cool. He also does these other things, which is wire uh, art. Oh, so um, this is his work with the wire art. So um, during uh, during like the I think it was like the last day he goes, hey, gre uh, greetings from Portland. So I got this beer. So uh, oh, what we brew really in the shadows cool. was uh, contributed to him. Uh, and uh, I can't thank him enough. And this is uh, Joey Edwards. Uh, I want to give him a quick plug. Uh, Edwards Art and Design dot uh, com. Check him out. He's he's got a Twitch uh, thing going on. So and then he like makes art is too. So check him out uh, from Portland, Oregon. All right, Kevin. If I, if I could, if I could yeah. chime in very very sure. quickly. If you like our show, you're gonna love Carvers and Creators. Paul, don't call me Dever Dever. Is <laughs> He's a Boston bad boy that likes to drink beer and say bad words. And he gives off the same vibe that we have on this show. And the art is amazing. The talent is amazing. Whenever I can watch it, I watch it. It's a great, great show. So if you're watching us now tonight, watch on Thursday. Just give it a shot. I think you're going to like it. It's 4 p.m. Pacific. Am I correct, Mungo? That's it. That's it. And uh, yeah, we, uh, this week we have this guy named Creature Kid on, and uh, he has like, like um, I think like uh, like oh god, so many like uh, like YouTube followers. Uh, but he has a Kickstarter, and it's like kind of a nightmare uh, before Christmas uh, thing that he's doing now. So definitely check us out. Um, and I gotta put those guys over. The, did those guys ever stop carving the whole weekend? No, no. They, and uh, that, we're, I'm gonna, that drew that drew audience to you guys for sure. Like, they were literally yeah. live carving things. All throughout the thing, and in the background, they had you had different episodes of the show on, and just people walking yep. by, by, it's like, Whoa, what's going on in there? Yeah, and it was super fun. And they made the museum where you showed those those pumpkins from the Joey, right? Was that his name? There was yeah. like literally like stuff from like Star Wars, uh, the Dracula, the Dracula, Bram Stoker Dracula film from the 90s. There was literally all these costumes that were on display. And this guy got in the, that museum, and so did uh, some garbage and creators' work. I was like, "Wow!" Yeah, I'm and actually, yeah, the, all the artwork. Yeah, Matt and Paul's yeah. things are right there on the left. They're they're facing the other way, but uh, yeah, yep. they were there. So yeah, so definitely check uh, all that out if you if you're into the all stuff. Yeah. And we're so ramping cool. up to Halloween, so it's it's going to be fun. 
Um, dude, you're you're going to be on TV soon and just forget all about us. <laughs> no, dude. I'm going to make this even bigger. What do you say about that? I'm going to make in, this yeah. even bigger. Uh, I don't forget my friends. I, I, I take them along with me. I know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> I, I hope what's... to drink enough to forget everything. Because <laughs> there's a lot I got to forget. There's a lot sure. I, I've seen. A lot I, I try to remember. but a lot people... to forget. Got it. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you know, yes. Angela, when you you know what I have to say to people when it's my birthday coming up in a few weeks? I say I'm 21 squared. Nice. <laughs> Cubed. So that I think is four... Let's see, 441. Yeah, that's right. That sounds about right. <laughs> yep. He graduated in the same uh, class as Vlad Tepes. <laughs> it, that, that, that's a super deep reference. So um, like, look at that. Even, I'm like, I, even I don't know that one. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's the original name of Dracula, no? Oh, I, is it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, you know, me and Van Helsing, you know, we, we, you know, yes. we, bro we broke some bread over the years. <laughs> So tell us about this All beer, right. Kevin. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. We're doing a show, right? We're live, pal. Yeah. All right. Uh, so this is a beer by Almanac Brew Company out of uh, Alameda. It's just uh, outside of Oakland. It's called The Future is Fluid. It is 6%, uh, 65 IBU, it, uh, I, West Coast IPA. So I'll read what it says here. Because um, I'm like, oh, this is cool artwork. And I saw this here. I just. And it turns out it's a, it's a good beer. Not I haven't tried it yet, but the cause is good, too. So it's a West Coast IPA dry hop with Simcoe, Mosaic, Cashmere, and Sabro. This beer was created by the women of Almanac Beer in support of the Pink Boots Society, which is a nonprofit that creates training and educational opportunities for women working in beer. Cheers are a more inclusive, equitable, and fluid future. Nice. 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 I had a collab with uh, Pink Boots from uh, Indie Brewing. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Bro, awesome. Shout out Where to did all you get the beer this one, sisters? Kevin? What? Where did you get this one? Uh, Trader Joe's. It was funny is that mm -hmm. I only saw it in the singles. I saw one left. I'm like, what is this? And I, because I didn't know what I was gonna have tonight. You know, so I was like, oh, this works. <laughs> right on, right on. Well, cheers. Uh, happy birthday, Angelo. Um, uh, many more, <laughs> many more. Yeah. We hope to raise cheers, the glass. Many more I'm glad you didn't have the hazy, the 394 hazy. I was like, I don't think he's at it. So I. I figured, oh, well, if he, if he already had, oh, well, he'll be happy to have it again. Yep. Yeah. And then you guys went to Top Golf. Am I correct on that? Yeah, we went to Top Golf on Sunday night. That was super fun. Uh, you know what it was? Because I'm going to do it for Angelo. You ready, Angelo? It was. <laughs> Let's do it. Angelo Mania 39. <laughs> it sure was. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun time, man. Uh, we had a great time uh, hitting some golf balls and drinking a little bit of beer. Cowboy Jack bought me a birthday shot via Kevin Lyon. So it was a fun time. So oh, I love fantastic. That they, I could say it. They K fade some beers that were that weren't drank, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got K faved away. I was like, all right, right on. Yeah, there were some <laughs> beers that weren't drank, and they may or may not have made it into my mother in law's purse. <laughs> and, 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 and into my way. Isn't there any more beer? Oh my god. Whoops. I, oh well. Yeah. It was gone, yeah. quote unquote. Taro hey. Blesser, dude. Taro Blesser Heart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every drop's important, right? Uh, uh, but that, that's, well, we'll forget. no, no. All right, here we go. So let's do it. Let, this is this day in baseball history for Angela's birthday. This is June the 7th. May, I'm sorry. I need to pause one more time. When Do you, do you want to do Angela's gifts now or you want to do it later? He has a, he has a bag from us. What, were you okay. playing it later? Okay. Yeah. I, I, uh, I was not, I, I missed rehearsal, so I, I didn't know. Um, no, we I, I, you know, if you remember, I, well, you were busy this weekend. I, I'm sorry. I'm just blown away by your hat. First off, Michael, <laughs> there's a bag and I told you I bought stuff, you know, okay. so I, I, I know I do it now. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Do it. All right. I have the bag right here. So let's see. Really drop that off with the beer. So and he's gonna know kind of what it is when he takes out the bag inside the bag. All right, there's a bag inside of the bag, and I like what I'm seeing. Yes, yeah, so here you go. This is from baseball. always a winner. Always a winner. All could right, be just a so bag. See what we got. It could be just. A bag. <laughs> you guys just sent him a bag, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we got your favorite players. Oh. Favorite player. And my favorite player, Ken Griffey Jr. Whoa, That's what killer. a dope shirt, dude. And I and I texted them. I, I almost freaked out because I almost bought that other shirt that you were wearing on Sunday. 
Oh, nice. Because you have this other <laughs> bigger picture. I'm like, I'm yeah. so glad I didn't buy that one. <laughs> we got, uh, oh, that's so awesome. Some Ken Griffey Jr. socks. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. And then we got some official Angels baseballism gear, a rally t shirt. Nice, dude. Go. Always support right. the minor that. leagues. Always <laughs> support the minor <laughs> leagues. That's awesome. Thank baseball. you so much, guys. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Awesome. Happy, Happy birthday, boy. brother. Thank cheers. You, awesome. Yeah, cheers. I, I mean, uh, so cool. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, we <laughs> make sure we get you the Halliburton, just like uh, Cowboy <laughs> Jack. Yeah, that's Cowboy Jack's gimmick. That's, that's his gimmick. Get, <laughs> get you a little replica one. We'll put it in the mail. <laughs> oh my gosh, he had it handy. He really does have one. <laughs> of course, yeah. you never know. Office, office, dude. Out the window. No, he really bought one last year, and he's like, "Yeah, for my gimmicks." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You got it. You got it. Happy birthday. Uh, take two. Let's do this. This is this day in baseball history for June 7th. June 7th, 1906, Christy Mathewson and Joe McGinty give up 11 first inning runs, allowing the Cubs to rout the Giants 19 to nothing. Uh, Mathewson, who is probably still suffering from the effects of diphtheria, contracted in the spring, retires only one batter while issuing six bases on balls in the West side grounds contest. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, throw it back to a hundred years and people are suffering with stuff, right? Sure. <laughs> right. Diphtheria. Diphtheria. Huh. Yeah. I, sorry. That was my fault. <laughs> Kevin. So I, I, Kevin. Never, I apologize to him. You know, is, and for people who don't know, it is a serious infection of the nose and throat. That's easily preventable by a vaccine. I'm it. Uh, wow. Sheet, uh, thick gray matter covers the back of the throat, making breathing hard. Now I'm sure th this vaccine probably didn't exist in 1906. You know, but wow. that's basically what it is. Oh, do we want to know what causes it? Since I'm the research analyst here. No, sure. we absolutely don't. Okay. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Come on. No. 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 Go ahead. Ah, how dare you? <laughs> No, please don't. I, I just trying to figure out what Hunter Rye is. I'm hoping it's Hunter Rye whiskey. You know what I mean? I'm hoping that's what Hunter Rye is. <laughs> oh, is yeah. that the cause? No, the, <laughs> no. the Hunter Rye, they see the sign in the background. It is a whiskey. In the, in the picture on the that, left. In the, in, the, in the background on the left, that is a, that is a whiskey, Hunter Rye. Oh, and look, the, there's two competing whiskey ads right above each other. Isn't that interesting? Three, yeah. dude. We've got whiskey. Hunter Rye, Bushmills, and Dewars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. They really like to drink. Yeah, Vince McMahon's <laughs> favorite drink, dude. Do it. Ah, that's Love why it. I have an Angela Mania. <laughs> but remember, Kevin, the statute of limitations on you uh, starting diphtheria, I think it's over. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not right, clear. Right. So don't, don't, lie, don't admit so anything. Right. I mean, always you deny. Die then, so yeah. we're good. <laughs> always deny. And uh, yeah, if we were playing fantasy baseball back then, you could go on the IL for diphtheria. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny hey okay it goes from person to person usually through respiratory droplets like from coughing or sneezing all right so there you go yeah a huh. hundred years ago huh hmm. uh, 100 years 116 uh, sir yep those who do not um uh, know history are doomed to repeat it or something to that effect right <laughs> yeah. all right here we go and here we go. Uh, June 7th, 1911, after a two-year absence, having little success as a performer in vaudeville and oh movies, Turkey Mike Donnellan returns to the Giants. The disagreeable outfielder traded to Boston after just a dozen games uh, with New York will compile a 316 average during his comeback season. Now, Jack, I, I, I 100%... <laughs> See this. If you were to play back then, this would be your story. Uh, where you go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into vaudeville, I'm going into movies. You guys, right. <laughs> you guys, I, your I'm, gonna go the, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be in the pictures. Yeah, they, they would, I would, I would 100% be called Turkey Jack, and uh, I'd be like, oh no, I can do the moving pictures. Yep, oh yeah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you you know what you you could you know you you could be a star in, in before the talkies. I you can know, be a star. Whoa whoa! I've got a 
velvety dulcet voice, bro. I yeah, can and then you would have adapted well to the 1930s, which were heavily, <laughs> heavily featured musicals. That was like the most popular films of the 1930s. I would know. I was going to those films. Right sure. <laughs> Dude, Turkey Mike Donnelly? Turkey Mike Donnelly. Mike Donnelly. Now, what, Donnelly. What, team Donnelly. Is, what team is the world champion? I World believe champion. that I believe that's the Giants. They, they that was like a thing when they they the next season went after they they won, they came back so. and they had a, a World Championship, a World Champion. That one slide because the 1906 slide was one of the guys wearing that same jersey. Is uh, it is yeah, yeah he on the is, on left. Yeah, yeah. okay, Matthewson, yeah. So there you go. So um, yeah, so it was, I think it was the Giants. So we'll, we'll definitely have to look into that that jersey specifically. Maybe it's a hazy history right there. I, there's got to be we, some good stuff here. Do we know who this uh, who this this woman is with? Uh, oh, I I meant to write that yeah, down. I actually had her name too. Um, it says but, sincerely yours. It looks like Mabel or M A G. Yeah, it sounded sound like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But remember, this could have been vaudeville, so it's like it's probably deeper. You know, it's probably not a, somebody in movies potentially. Oh, so. Jack would be great in vaudeville. I can tell you from going to vaudeville. Oh shows. yeah, I think Jack would be really good in vaudeville. That's why I described the show. It's vaudeville. It's it's a yeah. it's a variety act. Yes, it is. <laughs> June seventh, nineteen thirty eight, in a game against Red Sox, uh, against the Red Sox, Indians pitcher Johnny Allen storms off the mound and doesn't return when the ump. Bill McGowan orders him to cut off his distracting, dangling sweatshirt sleeve. The shirt <laughs> winds up in the Hall of Fame, uh, but but he doesn't. And here uh, it is. This is fr that from that game. Oh wow! Oh wow! In 1938, that was that was the one. So I, I love that they even have this. This is crazy, right? <laughs> wow! Yeah. Oh, look at this. Uh, Greg Hall, yeah. let's go Let's go back a little Greg bit. Hall, yeah, we got to go back. Yes, I saw Greg Hall. Oh, wow, we, we, we have another. Uh, wow, okay. They were married. There you go. Huh. Now, I, I, love to, I love to think that he got that right off the top, top of his head. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not, I, I, only, I, not, only, not only is he quick at stealing Pete Alonzo out from under me, but he's also oh quick with the, uh, the Mabel Height episode. Going back to that, which cap fits in better? Both those hats don't seem to fit in very well either, you know? <laughs> I'm loving turkey. I'm loving turkey here. I definitely turkey wouldn't Mike. expect that I wouldn't have expected that this story would have been uh more uh you know examined than the next one, but uh, <laughs> well, I'm not done examining yet, you know. <laughs> so, so there you go. There's the okay. cutoff sleeves. Um, awesome. I just love the umpire pose. That was fantastic. Yeah. I, I also love that we we knew who the umpires were, and because there's a lot of Hall of Fame umpires, uh, the umpires today they, they want to phase them out, which is uh, which is interesting as well. Um, all right, so June June seventh, nineteen sixty six, the Athletics select uh, future Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson in the first round, second pick of the amateur draft. Who was selected first? The Mets with the first overall pick choose Steve Chilcott, a high school catcher who will never play a day in the major leagues. Wow. And Cowboy Jack, can you see what uniform uh, Mr. Reggie Jackson, friend of the show, Reggie Jackson is wearing? Uh, look at the cap. I'm looking. I, I have bad eyesight. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, because it looks like an A and uh, an shut, S. Shut, shut your mouth. Shut it. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I have no idea. I, have I no know idea, for softball because remember we say, "Oh, where do you think Reggie Jackson went to college?" Arizona State University. There you go. Boom, nailed it. Well, that's not what the logo looks like. Back Maybe in 1966, it did. Yeah, but I have so much CTE, I can't remember yesterday. Dude. How am I supposed <laughs> to? You know what, Jack? Your long-term memory is perfect because whenever we ask you, I can ask you any person where they go to college. You're going to say Arizona State University now. Yeah, sure, yeah. exactly. Going to be your knee jerk reaction. Where did Turkey tonight? Mike Donlin go to college? Uh, <laughs> uh, Arizona State University. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> June seventh. So, can I ask you a question? Why, why didn't brother play a game? The number one draft pick, uh, Chilcott. From what I know, he, he just yeah, he just didn't make it. He just washed out, huh? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I just, well, and uh, I believe that he had an injury too that 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 prevented him as well. Ah, if you look at his eyes in that picture, I would have say it because he was uh, possessed by <laughs> Satan. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my God, that's a scary looking man. Well, you know yeah. what? That's probably his expression when he realized he got drafted by the Mets in 1960. Yeah, yeah, back then, right? that's for sure. They were the expansion team. Whoa. Back then. Yeah. June 7th, 1983, Steve Carlton of the Phillies strikes out Cardinals outfielder Lonnie Smith for his 3,000. 500 sec second as uh, 22nd career strikeout to pass Nolan Ryan as the all time oh, wow. strikeout leader wow. on the same night. Ryan strikes out three San Francisco batters to finish one shy of lefties total, but will finish wow. his career with 5,714 far ahead of uh, Philadelphia's uh, mark of uh, uh, Carlton's mark of 4,136. That's hard to believe. I, I never knew this, that he actually led Nolan Ryan at one time. Oh, well, that's he crazy. Started, he started about four or five years before him. So he did have a right. head start. Right. But again, think about that. He had a four or five year head start and Nolan was, you know, caught up with him by, by, you know, 15 years into Ryan's career. Cause Ryan started around 1969 or so. This yeah, is a, right. this is, this is really cool because this is the actual date of my birth. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, get out of that's here! Right. Yeah. That's right. right on, dude. Yeah, I didn't even put that together. That's so that's super, super cool, cool that there's an actual this day in history on my actual bro month, let's, day and year. Let's frame oh, that. That's picture, awesome. Man. Yeah, and frankly, at this point, Steve Carlton's like a friend of the show. We've talked about him so right. much. On right. here. That's true. Right. Like yeah, Steve yeah. Carlton and Tom Seaver, I think are like the two pitchers we talk about more than anybody else on this show. It seems like. Yeah. Yes, Steve Pudge Carlton was, I mean, a heck of a ball player. You really, <laughs> you had to look far and wide. Thank what? you. Can no. you do that again, please? No. Steve? Please. Oh. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> he was his, uh, nickname was Lefty. Lefty, because he's a left-hander, and I'll just leave it at that. There's more reason why he might be Lefty, but let's not talk about that on the show. <laughs> Watch Hazy History for an upcoming episode. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome, and and total serendipity too, because I I just picked this I picked these randomly. So uh, the that's fact so that I picked cool. one, it was your exact birthday. I, I should have known that, uh, but I'm lucky that I did that. So that's that's awesome. Yeah. Um, but the next story to end it out. Um, I hope that our all of our baseball um involvement ends like this. This is this is awesome. June seventh, twenty fourteen, as a part of Wrigley Field's one hundredth anniversary. The Cubs honor 97-year-old Lenny Marillo, who receives a rounding ovation when he tosses the ceremonial first pitch prior to the team's 5-2 victory over the Marlins. The former infielder, who went 0-2 when he played in three games for Chicago in the 1945 World Series, is the last living person to play in a World Series uh, game for the franchise. So... I don't know of too many other sports where you can be 97 years old and be honored, uh, you know, by the team that you played for, even though it was very uh, short lived. But I, I thought this was super cool because, you know, we, we all baseball keeps us young, obviously. Right. So um, right. we we definitely uh, we, we love it. And and it, it's super fun to keep up with. And, uh, and I, I love these kind of stories because, again, that, that guy looks su super happy, you know. Doesn't he look and I think excited he, and, like, just to play the game? Yeah, and I, I think this was, like, only, like, maybe within a year of his death, too. So it's like, oh, um, wow. you know, it's like, one, yeah, so I mean, they got it in. It was, like, great. Yeah, and I'm guessing he probably didn't make it to see them win the World Series two years later. Oh, right. I never put that. Thing. That's right. You're right. And uh, wow, that would have been amazing, too. But I mean, like, at least he got honored. I think that's super cool. Yeah, absolutely. So there you go. That is that this uh, this day in baseball history. So let's do some baseball card sharks. And uh, Angelo, you are uh, you're the man this week. Uh, here are the baseball card sharks standings. Uh, Kevin with a big win last week. I totally uh <laughs> I totally got thrown out at third uh, with one out on. Uh, <laughs> I got picked up third at the end of there, so whatever. Um, but that's the way that's the way it goes. Uh, here are the baseball card shark rules. We're gonna draw eleven cards, and we're going to uh, put eight on the board, three on the bench, 
We're going to start from the bottom. We're going to pick a category and work our way up. Whoever makes it up to uh, the top there uh, completes it. And uh, yeah, we'll lead you through it. It's all good. So uh, let me get this out of here. I'm going to uh, this. Did I have so, 22 Andrew, losses? Uh, is that what it said? <laughs> uh, yeah, you have 22 losses. Wow. Just own it. Just own it. It's good. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> it's all learning experience. It's Mixing all learning to be 23 experience. tonight, boys. Hey, the Angels haven't fired you yet. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm doing better than Joe Madden, apparently. That, that's right. <laughs> and I'll give a toast to Phil Nevin, you know, from my alma mater, uh, Cal State Fullerton. He is from your alma mater. Los Titanes, right. you know. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay. So we have uh, 2022 opening day. Um, Angelo, you are going to pick the category and you're going to go first. Um, we have some very – let's see. Pitchers or start – or, or This is players. Uh, position players, so batters. All right. Yep. Oh, so we have let's 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 not overcomplicate things for my birthday and let's go home runs. Yes. All right. Let's do home runs. When Sounds you said overcomplicate, I thought you were gonna say like slugging percentage or WAR. I'm like, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let, let's uh let's keep things simple and go uh height. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting to do like height and weight because then we can use any card from any period if we ever did like you know. A met yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure awesome. that would be super fun, dude. <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, our offsite, uh, Chilcott, plagued by injuries, ref yes. his career, Mets released him in 71. So there and you what go. Was the, what was the rookie year again? He got drafted um, in 66. 66, so not right. Very long. So not very long. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, we did, we're going to do got. home runs? Yes, Correct. sir. All right. So this actually, Angela, you you reached out uh, earlier before this year uh, to reach out. I think for another uh, fantasy league you're doing, and you're asking about this man, Tim yes. Anderson. Uh, yes, how sir. has he been for you? I know he's hurt right now, but he's he's did he's, pretty well, right? Yeah, he was doing very very well before he got hurt. So there you go, Tim Anderson. Uh, another good one. This is Cattell Marte. Uh, here is a uh, actually this is a variation that I didn't put in there before, but oh. this is a cool one. This is go. uh Isaiah Kiner Falefa who now you have to see if that's inside. numbered, but we don't want to look it right is, now. It is get to him. We'll see if it's numbered. It is right now. Oh, don't look. I believe, I believe, don't I believe, look. You're looking it won't stats. be near the stats. <laughs> I don't think the blue foils are numbered. Okay. Right. So it says March. I don't think anything's numbered in opening day, actually. Yeah, you might you're true. Okay. I and, so, well, I know that those cards had the opening date on cards, but yes. I that think is that's true. something for opening day that was numbered, but okay. Yeah, big, big we just had a big teacher and I just had a, conver a conversation about Isaiah on um over the weekend, he said he calls him falafel. So he just put yes, in comments. Yes, yes. <laughs> I also hear him, uh, they, they say IKF. So it's like, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's like, I, I was like, I, that took me a little while too. Uh, here's uh, Whoa, Justin, okay. who plays for, it, it, Upton plays for the Mariners now, right? Mariners, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You mean, uh, yes, the Angels are paying $28 million for him to play yeah, that's his rival right. team. There you go. That's right. Josh Bell. Yeah, it's a nice uh, cast here. Yeah, Evan Longoria. Don't call him Eva. Uh, DJ LeMahieu. Couple tough on ones your in bench. There. On your bench is Alex Bregman. Oye Como Va, Carlos Santana, and Yoan Moncada, which you can barely see him there in the uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The south side at uniforms. All right. So let's do it. Um Tim Anderson. Let me get my big my big bifocal here. Uh 91 home runs. 91 home runs. So Cattell Marte. Oh man. More or less on this one. <sighs> this is this could go either way. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a lot closer than people would think, but I'll go, yeah. I'll go slightly less. Okay, so 91 is the number to beat. I remember him playing for the Mariners, I believe. Mm -hmm. 91. 70. <laughs> Ooh, pretty close. Yeah. All right. And what, was his name? what was his name? Mate? Cattell Marte. Oh, Marte. 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 And yes. you know what? God bless him because he still, in the offseason, uh, practices Zumba, which you can see yeah. here. 
Yep. <laughs> well done, you gotta stay in shape, brother. Gotta, That's right. Gotta stay in shape. That's right. So That's seventy seven. is the number. Isaiah, Kiner, IKF, Falafel. IKF would sounds like a condition oh. Cowboy Jack might have. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go with lower. It doesn't have enough years in the league, I don't think. To be all right, seventy. So lower this than is, I think this is second or third year, right? Uh, it is the fourth year, and he only has sixteen. Yeah. Oh wow! There you go. Sixteen. So, Eloy Jimenez. No, he definitely has more. I I would say so. Yeah. Well, he has an extensive minor league career that's documented oh, here. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Uh, but fifty-five home runs. So yeah. good call on that one. Yeah, you might make you might make this one. There was, there was only one one or two I wasn't too sure on when I saw it going down. Good job. So Justin you know Upton, one. higher or lower than, than fifty five? Yeah. He has more than fifty five. He probably has yep. like two fifty, right? Uh, three twenty four. Wow. All right. Three twenty four. Josh Bell has less than three twenty four. Josh oh, Bell yeah. less than three twenty four. March, you're one. marching down the field. Bro. Yeah. yeah. He is. 113. It, Ooh, it, uh, this was going this into the red tough. zone. This is the one I was like, Ugh. yeah, this is a tough one. This is the one I wasn't sure of. So 113 is the number. Evan Longoria, the former Ray. And uh, former Giant. And, or current Giant, rather. Yeah, this um, is the next one I was like, eh, it's a little tougher. Oh my gosh. Uh I, I I'd have to say more. That's now, before you say that, I, you can go to your bench. No, because I mean he's played at least <laughs> He eight, nine, longer. ten years, and he's yeah. he's at least hit ten ever ten plus every year. Yeah, so I'll, I'll I, I go with more. I think you're right. You okay. probably like hundred ish. One thirteen is the number to beat. Oh wow, three seventeen. Wow, All right, you got it. Okay, Ansel's yeah. gonna run that board. I forgot how well he actually did with Tampa Bay. Yeah, he was he was a staple for them. So DJ Lemayhew, higher oh, or lower than three seventeen? <sighs> Man. Uh, Kevin thinks I have this in the bag, but I, I'd have to say less than 317. Yeah, yeah. That would no, be my guess. Right. That would be my guess. Yeah. You know, he hits up with the Rockies, but I don't think he has 200. Yep. He never hit over 26 home runs, which he did with his first year with the Yankees in 95. Ka Angela yeah. runs the board. Runs the board. Let's go. All Birthday right. boy. Nicely done. Nicely done. So who's next? I um, I'm ready oh, to earn my 23rd loss, dude. I'll tell you the 317 by Evan Longoria really surprised me, though. I yeah, should, I should have known it was. Was that more than Upton? Uh, let's see. Was that more than Upton? I'm kind of surprised so, that's so. Slightly Upton, less than Upton. Oh, okay. Upton had 324. Wow, so it was close. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, I thought Upton yeah. was more of a power hitter than that. Right. Uh, Upton had seven more. Okay. Wow. Bro, slightly less. Check out big baseball brain over here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the... Uh, I'm not big fan of any of these. Sneaky back either, yeah. These are all garbage. Um, yeah, uh, you know, they are what they are. But uh, I, I, I like actually, I like the Giants' uh, Friday uniforms. So they're, those are the best ones. Their Friday uniforms are amazing. Um, they're, they're like the orange, and they have like the script type of Giants. Mm. It's like the, it's like That's their it. '70s look, but they did it with orange, and it's amazing. Right I love on. it. So my favorite, um, my favorite Giants uh, uniform is the World Series uniforms because they don't exist. <laughs> oh, that's not true. It's not true. Um, if you watch early in the show, Jack, did you see the the jersey that said World Champions? Like 328 exactly. years ago, bro. Jeez, that was geez. that was still the same franchise when they were in New York. All right. There you go. Can't even make a joke. <laughs> nope. All, no. all, well, you, all you crazy liberals here. out there ruining <laughs> humor. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to ruin all the fun. Yeah. Oh, you do it every week. Don't worry. Oh, I love doing it. it. I love We're going with the facts. We have to get... So here's uh, one of Kevin's favorites for you, Jack. This is Cole Calhoun. Now plays Local for the Rangers. For get you. a home run today. He's one he's of my home... favorites, Joey, Joey Votto. Votto. Oh, yeah. Adam <laughs> Frazier. Down goes down Frazier. Goes Frazier. Well, after, after Jack gets past him, yeah, we can say down goes Frazier. 
Come on, Jack. Don't blow it. Let's go, Brandon Crawford. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you're you probably you right. a political jag. Hey, uh, Mongo. Yeah. Put that car in the right spot, sir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, you're uh, too, you're see, too, you're too popping for his own joke. <laughs> yeah, was, exactly. That was, yeah, that was Jack that's so good. Yeah. His own joke. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, Fernando Tatis Jr. Still looking for him to play. Although I, early early in the year, it was really fun to see him take like a shoulder right into the turf when he was like playing like uh, I, I think he's playing football or something like that. I'm sure that was really good. Uh, here's a favorite of uh, Ed Brown right here, Giancarlo <laughs> Stanton. Bro, oh, Gina Carano Stanton, man, my MVP <laughs> on my on my uh, fantasy league. Hit me two home runs today. <laughs> oh, that's right. Big Teach uh, says he's playing soccer. That's right. Um, uh, Andrew Benatendi. Oh, actually, I, I actually got it right. I, I was football, right? At football. At football. Uh, oh, you, the you were the football player. And Michael, you have to tell yeah. us a story later about football. I'm oh, I, football. I will tell it after I, this. I'll tell you my, my, my football about this story. Too. Yes, thank you for reminding me. And then uh, Nick Castellanos, another one of my my. Mongo, if player, you, ne- if you, if you would not mention football, I never rem- would have remembered to ask you that. Yeah, story. me neither. Me either. I was more concentrated on Angela's birthday. Yes. All right, let's do it. Cole Calhoun. Cole. Yep. I used to uh, go to Angels games and hear. That's all that Kevin would say whenever he was at the bat. Cole. It sounds really fun to go to a game with him. <laughs> oh, I mean, you see me at major league games. Well, we're always sitting. We're always sitting in an empty stadium, so you know we. Uh, I, I, I echo. I see yeah. people covering their ears. <laughs> it's like when Jack's singing. One sixty-one oh. for Cole Calhoun. One sixty-one. So Joey Votto, Joey Bats. There. there you go. Uh, three thirty-one. Nice, oh. nicely done. Oh. Three thirty-one for Joey Votto. Good call. Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier down goes Frazier lower. Nice. Yeah, nice. You'll have a good amount though. Uh 40. Less than I, less than I remember. <laughs> yeah. I love you said down, down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Oh, I'm thinking of Todd think Frazier, right? Todd Frazier. Todd oh, Frazier. Yeah. Todd Frazier. <laughs> yes. The Todd Father. Know. The Todd, the Todd Father. Father. Didn't Todd Frazier win the home run derby? Yeah, that's why I was thinking this guy. Yeah, I yeah. picked up my Frazier's. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So Brandon Crawford, higher or lower than 40. <laughs> and this is 2022. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. Yeah. And he's on the Giants. Brandon Crawford. He's going to be higher than 40. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know on this one. I have no clue. 130. Wow. 130. Wow. It's a long time. Yeah, he's he's played wow. since 2011. I didn't know he's been playing that long. Very good, Jack. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. Higher or lower? Song. It does. Oh, I mean, it does. Yeah. What? Give me, give, give me the number to beat one more time. One thirty. One thirty, and Tatis, and I feel like I'm gonna mess this up, but I'm going uh, lower. Yeah. Yeah. Your buddy Ian that. says less. You're right good, there. Jack. You're good, Jack. Relax. You're, You're way good. good. You're fine. 81. 81. Oh, thank God. Actually, uh, <laughs> he's like, you know, I mean, he, he's like, this guy's a superstar, but how long has he been playing? He's sure. Superstar. Yeah, he started, yeah. He started in 2019. So this, this is guy fourth year, yeah. yeah. Got exactly. it. So, we're all like, uh, we're all relaxed as Jack's like, oh, my God. Oh my God. Yeah, he's stressing out. We're just like. Uh, Sweat and right, Yeah, you just. Okay. Yeah, I, I, mean, knew, if, I had a feeling he would, too. I was like, oh, no. He's going to have If you do, you know, uh, angel math, okay, Otani was – came in the league the year before Tatis and he just hit 100. Got it. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. All right, Gina Carano. Gina, Gina Carano, Carano Stanton. And the number to beat is? 81. 81 from uh, our boy Tati. T- no. Gina, Gina Carano Carlos. Stanton is higher. Good job. You. He's a, that's, all, that's all he does is hit a home runs. That. 347. Wow, oh, dude! Yeah, check the you, check check the Peoria job squad on the fantasy league. That's all he does is hit homers. That's all he does. Yep. Um, and Andrew Benintendi, <laughs> higher or lower than three forty seven. You laughed and you chuckled a little bit, and that could go either way. Really? I'm okay, I'm gonna yeah. say Benintendi's lower. 
Okay, I was gonna say, like, please don't say higher. <laughs> please don't say higher. Bro, she, Six Gina Carano has won me every game thus far. I'm not giving up on it. Uh, 68, Jack. Good job. Got it. Yep. So, um, yeah, he, uh, uh, that was last year. Yeah, 42. Yeah. 42. Um, okay. So the number to beat here is. Yeah, and, and uh, Ian says, yeah, it's, it's super solid for what that. That's why whenever he play, he plays really hard, so he gets hurt. So uh, well, when he you got number two, one, was, you remember one that? of those seasons, one of those seasons only 60 games, you know? Yeah, right, right, that's right. A that's, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yep. And then he he did like the splits at second base one time. It was like <laughs> Yeah, totally. Um, so 68 is the number to beat. Uh, Nick Castellanos. Higher so, or lower? Yeah, this, Six, wow. 68 are that's that's my buddy Jerickson and Profar numbers right there. But I think Castellanos is higher. Oh, I think you're good. I think you're good. Awesome. I think he's around 100. I think he's around 100. Cowboy Jack, you have run the board 168. <laughs> Woo! Uh oh, look at that. Are our, are our senior guys, citizens here. Did you guys see that? That was that was good. That's a home run, boys. You're coming along. You're coming. You're coming up in the world. Love it. All right. You know what helped? You know what helped me was the 2022 season and playing the fantasy baseball because I'm seeing all these names. Yeah. Yes. Right. And I can put some uh, names to stats and years and all that stuff. This is. I mean, the, Jack. I, I will tell you. This is how I learned baseball. Baseball cards. Huh. That's how I knew this, the player. I didn't watch the games it, because we couldn't get them. So right. I knew yeah. people by baseball cards. Yeah, so, that was um, same here for me because when I was going to games yeah. in the 80s, in between innings, I'd be looking at cards, just reading them. That's, exactly. how I, that's how I remember some of the stupid stuff that you're like, how do you know this? I'm like, this green my long-term memory. Much like, hey, Jack, where did Reggie Jackson go to college? Uh, Arizona State University. Not where did Rick Monday go to college? Arizona State University. Uh, no. Where did uh, Turkey Mike go to college? Arizona State <laughs> University. He Good was job. in the same class as superstar Billy Graham. There you go. Maybe. <laughs> All right. All right, Let's Kevin. Start. Here we go. Jeez, I got hard acts to follow. I believe, I, I, right. I was, was was Kyle Lewis rookie of the year one year. I'm he, was, yep. he was. He was. He yeah. was. He was. Kyle Lewis, and, and he just made all, it back to the the Mariners. Apparently had a horrible. Apparently he was, horrible, horrible. Apparently he was yeah. struggling in 2021. Struggling to say the Trey Mancini. I believe right. a cancer survivor, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yep. Saw him at Hillsboro when he was a youngster. The Dansby oh, yeah. Swanson. Hillsboro hops. And I don't right. like this board. Bro, I don't like Dan this board so far. My Dan Dan is, Dan <laughs> I do not like this board at all. This is yeah. This is this, this, now Altuve. Geez. This little guy. This little I guy. Don't like this board. This little horn swoggle. <laughs> <laughs> Bo Bichette. Jeez, dude. Bo Bichette. This is a tough board. No, I'm okay with Michael Bo. Brantley. Bo I'm fine with. Michael right. Brantley. I, I, this, this is a little better. I just gotta get past this first. This murderer's row on the bottom. Yep. If anybody knows about Murderer's Row, it's me. <laughs> Vlad Jr. Vlad And Jr. at the top, right. Justin Turner. Oh, this Dr. Zayas himself from Planet of the Apes. Dr. Zayas. <laughs> Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas. <sighs> All right, here we go. Uh, 22 home runs for Kyle Lewis, as you probably expect. Not, right. not super high. 22. Uh, Trey Mancini. Ooh, higher or lower? Me. I, I got to go higher. I, I guess I, would I think so. He has way more seasons. Kevin. He has yeah, way more experience in the field. You can still go to your bench. I can't go to my bench, sir. I have to tie you guys. 107, and he missed the 2020 season. Yeah. Yeah. Good play. Trey Man, yeah. Man You know what? Cheers to Trey Man CD. Hey, cheers to Trey Man. Going back from cancer and yeah, being man. a ball player. Totally. Cheers yeah. to that guy. So 107 is the number. Now we got Dansby Swanson, a hitting shortstop. Good hitting shortstop. I know, shortstop. that's what the, I was just like, ugh. This is what one of my, yeah. Hey, Ke Kevin, just so you know, yes, every sir. day since we've started fantasy uh, baseball, huh? I get a Dansby Swanson has homered alert. Yeah, I'm so. sure you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> but you know what? Those don't count, so let's say lower. Because okay. this, is 20, this is 2021, not 2022. This is 2022. I know, but this 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 card the is stats, the 2021 yeah. season. No, they keep yeah. them up to date. 
I so the like number is 107, and you say lower, yeah? I'm going to say lower, so yes. I think he's like, All right. I think he's like 75. Oh, man, you are good. 77. Sure. Hey. <laughs> that is nuts. No, I don't know that. Uncanny. Uncanny. That's sick, I know dude. that. Because I have the card right here. I mean, no, I don't. I can't see it. <laughs> Actually, no, this is the one I'm like, I. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Uh, 77. Um, higher or lower? Another hitting shortstop. Dude, check out Jose Trapzilla Altuve. Wow, dude. Those well, are traps. You don't want to look to see what's underneath that. You know? Oh, was it okay. his or was it Gray uh, who had the, uh, the microphone? Who had the microphone? I believe, I believe he's second base. Who, oh, that's right. Who had the who had the 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 tap the tap two to cover up? Was that Altuve or Correa? That's uh, that that was Altuve. Okay. But then then it was Correa that you're probably thinking of. I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> geez, so how many? He's been playing five or six years. It's gonna be close. I'll say a little higher. I might regret this, but I'll go a little. No, higher. I think that, you, would, I be, think you're that good. would definitely be my guess. He's he actually hits some more home runs than you would expect. And one sixty four. Yeah. Oh, One geez. Wow. Four. I didn't think there was that yeah. many. That's, I mean, I mean, like, he can play long, play longer than I thought then. I thought he only played yep. like five or six years. So, Whew, yep. okay. Good. I can, so now I can relax a little bit. Four. Now I think I got Boba this. Shet. Well, Boba Shet will pass that point, but not yet. He's definitely yeah. lower. Yep. I'll say so too. And, and also by proxy, now a friend of the show, Boba Shet. That's right. That's right. 45. Yeah. 45 for Boba Shet. Angelo, did you tell that story last week on the show? I didn't because uh, I don't think I did. No, I don't think you did. So tell tell them yeah, about we had, your Boba Shet story. Yeah, we had Little League Day at Angel Stadium for uh, Little League last uh, last Sunday or the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. Right. And uh, so Levi and Lucas's team got to walk the field. I was walking with Levi's team, saw Boba Shet warming up on the field, yelled, hey, Bo, and he waved back. And I said, hey, Bo, any chance I can get a ball for my son? And he had a ball in his hand. He looked at it and then lobbed it over to me. And I gave it to Levi. And Levi slept with the baseball that night. Right on. That, that oh. Boba Shet gave him. And, yeah. and hey, Bo Bichette hit a home run that day. He did hit a home run that did day. Did he really? So. Oh, that's super he did. cool. He did. Yeah. I remember wow, that because Bo's on my team in our fantasy league. <laughs> 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 so Bo Bichette, right of the show. Yes. What a so memory. Bo Bichette and, and that beautiful yes. hair. Creating memories for me and my son. Thank you very yeah, much. That's awesome. But, so Boba Sh- Shet this year, Lou, uh, Lars Nupar last year, but yes. Lars Nupar came back and he's hitting for the Cardinals like it's nuts. Dude, oh, yeah. he's on fire. Yeah. Totally. So um, awesome. Good. Boba Shet, friend of the show. We'll have to, we'll have to post that picture. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. for sure. Uh, so the number – Definitely lower. 45, Mike, oh, okay. Michael Brantley, you're saying? I mean, I got to go higher. He's been around a long time. Yeah, I agree. I think he's played for the Indians. So yeah. higher. 122. Right. Yeah, he played for Cleveland since 09. Right. Yeah. I got to run the sport now. All right. 122. All right. I, I, so geez, Vlad, like, that's not that high for a veteran like that. All right. What do we got I'm here? I'm not sure what he's throwing there, but it's either some very large Captain Crunch or uh, some uh, yeah. Zuka Jim. <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of comedy let's leave it at that it's captain crunch please. yeah <laughs> it's captain crunch dude. 122 he's, he's upset because there's no crunch berries in that bowl right I'm exactly he's like, i want crunch berries I love Michael, I try so hard to be funny and you effortlessly effortlessly yeah. just kill it bro <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Vlad will get there, but he's not there yet. He's lower. Okay, so 122. You say lower. You are right. We, although he did hit, he hit 48 last year. Yeah. Wow. 72 yeah. is the number. Yeah. Um, so I say he he's did. still after this year. He'll yeah. be probably pass that. 72. So, what do we got here? 72. We got uh, Justin Turner. Oh, it's got to be higher. Out. Yeah, definitely higher. Dang, there you go. Three for yeah. three. Justin Turner yeah. overdrive is up there. Oh God, yeah. 151. <laughs> wow, I thought this was a hard board. It didn't turn out that way. And three. Uh, it, was that, it, was that, that, it was that first row. row. It was that, it was that first, first row. row. I saw those and I'm like, that first row is gonna be hard. Oh, After that, I think I got all it. All right. Woo. Whoa. We got a three-way okay. dance, disco. Let's see if we can make it a four, <laughs> uh, a fatal four-way. <laughs> uh, so I'll I'll say right here it's it's my birthday so I think I can make the rules. If my if Mike uh, Michael unprecedentedly runs the board here 
it's a, a win first. for all four of us. Yeah. You know what? Oh, I'm okay. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm, we, I'm with this is This is something that's never been done before, Michael. The pressure's on you. I don't even think we've ever had three. The pressure was already on me. Now it's even more. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, so don't blow it. All right. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. We're all counting on you, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me do it first. (laughs) All right. I just want to tell you good luck. We're all counting on you. (laughs) Yes. The lost member of the WWE McMahon family. This is Ryan McMahon. Who went into baseball instead of the family business? There you go. Yeah, what happened when he Ryan. decided to? What? Yeah. What happened to Ryan McMahon after he decided not to go in the wrestling business, Kevin? In your Vince McMahon voice, he was what? You're fired. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Manny Machado. Manny Machado, uh, who's having a great He's season, but the the Padres are shot not. like Cowboy Jack the Ray. He might he might be swinging at those Captain Crunch in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, did well last year, but, uh, I haven't heard about him much this year. Akil Badu. Actually, I, you know what, when I went, I just found this out. I was looking at an old video. If you go to our YouTube and look up, uh, I did a, I walked around the stadium in quad cities. You did. Um, I did a whole thing at at the very beginning. Akil Badu is at bat. Oh, wow. Right on. Yeah. So there you go. (laughs) I, that's a, that's a super nerdy thing, but uh, if you want to go look, that's for all right. It, hey, yeah. at least you know something to <laughs> yeah. remember. Yes, Austin uh, Austin Riley here. Uh, Kyle Schwarber, who's uh, actually doing well for the Phillies Schwarber's, right now. Schwarber's doing good this year. Yep, Javi Baez with the Tigers. Javi uh, Baez, Joey Gallo, who's uh, who never does does well for any team. I, mean, I already um, released him. <laughs> I don't like you. Like, nope, bye. I bet you a hundred percent. I'll bet you a hundred dollars that at the day you released him, he hit two home runs. Probably. That's, that's, that's the way he rolls. <laughs> okay. I was like, why did I do that? that was oh my god! Wow. And then uh, Brandon Belt. The, you know his nickname is the Baby Giraffe because he has really <laughs> big shins. Really? <laughs> of course. Yes. <laughs> Brother, if I right. had to, if I had the nickname the baby giraffe, I've had some derogatory nicknames in my day. <laughs> but the baby giraffe, like, come on, bro. Like, this is a grown man. Uh, <laughs> the baby giraffe. Yeah. There's one, right. there's one tough one in here I saw for sure, Mongo. There's one or yeah, two that, that are pretty tough. Yeah. I love so I'll take them as they come here. So Ryan McMahon, uh, I expect to be pretty low. Uh 61. That's way more oh, than I expected. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, but I know that Manny Machado had oh, yeah. he, he was a hitting third baseman, played for the Orioles, now playing. Uh, I he, he signed a ten year contract. He's four years into it for the Padres. I will definitely say higher. Uh, yeah, he had a one year for the Dodgers where he st- he right. stepped on. Uh, I can't remember who the, for the for the uh, for Milwaukee Brewers. He stepped on his oh, ankle. Shoot, that's, um, that's right. Bob uh, will tell us who it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 251, 251. Yeah. Hey, do you do you guys have a team uh, in baseball that you hate for no reason? Not anymore. Not anymore. Well, but um, really, for no reason. I just can't stand the team. I don't know why. <laughs> I you know what, it, it, Jack, the one great thing about uh Baltimore is that when you go to their stadium, it's like going to a, uh, uh it's like going to a museum because there's no one there and there's a lot of history. So, um, and they have great beer. So, um, and the Babe Ruth Museum is right down the street. So, um, didn't you get your yeah. Eddie Murray beer there? Yes. Yes. That's where I got that. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, um, it's like, it's like going to like, yeah, it's, it's, I said the stadium was mine. <laughs> There's wow. no one there. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, and also the, the statue with Earl Weaver, where it has like the cigarette in the cigarette. there. That, that oh, really? That's in Baltimore. Okay. That's, yeah. that's in that stadium. Got so it. I again I'll turn you to a fan of any team here. So Akil Badu, I'll definitely say lower uh than yeah. 251. Good choice, good choice. I would say so. <laughs> 13. I, I was actually surprised he had 13. Um Austin Riley, dude, this is a little tough. That's I think one I was he, what the one I was, I was like, uh, Yeah. Is this the one you were talking about? One and then I thought the gala one I thought might be a little tough too. Okay, okay. So I have a little bit more clarity. I gotta get past this one. I'm gonna go higher on this one only because I think that he has a little bit more uh, yeah, than Badu because he started last year. He's hovering around twenty. 
Uh, yeah, 59, 59. Oh, so hey, wow. to... See, yeah. hovering around 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Multiply by three. Jack, yes, you ran the board. You ran the board. I did. That's right. Ian says uh, that um, his uh, Brandon, Brandon Belt's belt. he was captain. He used to have the captain thing on there, the C, which I always love. We got to bring that back. Bring back the C. <laughs> On the on the uniform, like the like hockey, and uh, they also do it in <laughs> soccer as well. Uh, they also have the, the in soccer they hey, have the, the armband. Don't they do that in in basketball as well? Or do they use? Are they do they still not do? Oh, that? They, they do, do it in That's football. Right. They do it in they do it in football. They but but it it's football, it's yeah. gone away though. Yeah. In, okay. I thought they did in the NBA because NBA they don't do that. it anymore, but okay. NFL they do. Yeah, I'll tell you, you have to keep... have like a lot of tenure to do it now. Yeah, I'll tell you who's keeping that tradition alive is uh, curling. Okay. The curling, they, they have the C. Professional but it, curling. It, it, yeah, the team is it a curling, has a though? C. <laughs> to tell people the that C they're curling. curling. <laughs> um, I, I wish they would have had it on Curly Neal's uh, basketball. Yes. Years. There you yes. go. Yes. Thank That's you. A deep cut. All right, Kyle Schwarber. I will definitely say higher. I mean, he played for oh, the yeah. Cubs. He plays for the oh, Phillies. Yeah. Uh, so 59. It's a good call. Uh, definitely higher. Definitely higher. He played for the Nationals with for one year as well. One fifty three, pure oh, hitter. Wow. Started Dude, as a catcher. I, I didn't hear that many. Wow. Very good. Started as a catcher for the University of of Indiana. Um, <laughs> actually, University I, of Indiana, famously not Arizona State University. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It has nothing to do with yeah. Arizona State University. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they probably played each other in basketball. No affiliation, both- dude. No affiliation. No affiliation right. whatsoever. Okay. All right, so 153. Uh, this, one, this, one, this is a tough one. This is a tricky one as well. Another really good hitting uh, oh God, player. Yeah, this Boy. This. So he's still with the still with the Cubs here. And I think he took over for like Starlin Castro. I'm trying to think of what the year was. Oh, boy. Okay, so... If, was that number 150? Oh, jeez. See, I wouldn't even think of this one. I was thinking of Baez versus Gallo. I was like, oh, God. 153, I believe, is the number to beat. 153. This, I mean, I, I would be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they had the same number, but oh, boy, this is maybe is this where I blow it? Um, no, you're gonna this win. Is, this is tough. Week. You got it. This is tough. So I'm I'm gonna go with one thing here. I'm going to go with the fact that Schwarber is a pure power hitter. So I'm going to go lower on Baez. And I, and I hope that I'm not making uh, the wrong decision here, but um, but I, that's the only thing I have to go with. I bet you he has like 120, which is – that would be a lot, I right? I think he was playing on – I thought he was on the 2016 team, but maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah, he, I think I think he was. So he started about that time, but I don't remember hitting him and hitting as much as um, – <sighs> I thought he at least won good season there. I thought he at least yeah. won like 25, 30 home run season. And, I mean, Schwarber hit 30, 20, 26, 38, 11, 25. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm definitely going. I, I got to go. I got to go lower. I got to go lower. Okay. So 153 is a number to beat. I think I'm right 149. 149. Wow. 149. Oh, man. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah, I know that might go. Now more than one fifty. I mean, the Dave Kingman, the modern day Dave Kingman, right here. Yeah, he's definitely how, higher. Right, but I'd say how many I would goals, say, how like, many if years? he has, if he has two hundred home runs. Yeah. You know, I, I I would say like yeah, yeah. Does he have okay. more home runs or strikeouts? Definitely more strikeouts. Oh, sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, yeah. twice, I'm sorry. You should have said twice as many strikeouts. The only the only thing that that like for instance like he either grounds out pops out strikes out or hits a home run like or, or and but you can't even say walks anymore like he does he uh, he walks a little bit oh shoo. Well, I, I'll say I'll say things. higher all the things go higher go higher I think you're good okay I think he's so played higher than one forty nine he's at forty before one fifty eight oh my god wow. oh my god <laughs> wow. wow I knew it was gonna be close I knew it was gonna be I knew those were gonna 158. be one fifty eight. Uh, even Ooh. this is even this is a little hard. Oh um, gosh, yeah, it is. Oh yeah, check out old giraffe knuckle over here. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Now, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> check it, dude, Angela. You all right, baby? Caught <laughs> <laughs> me off guard with that one, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
158. Uh, a lot of holy smokes here in the, in the chat for, for this. Yeah. Game. Yeah. 158. Nice. Brandon Belt. Oh my God. He's like, uh, he's around this, but I will say lower only because, oh, I mean, no. he, I don't think he hits home runs in 20s and 30s like, like Gallo. I mean, like Gallo's. Does- if it gets 20 for five years, that's only a hundred. You know what I mean? Gallo hit 41, 40, 22, 10, 25, 13. That's, that's very comparable to him, but I think those early years are what sets Gallo apart. So I'm going to go lower, lower than 158. Michael, before you look, I just want to say something. I just want to tell you good luck. I just want to tell you good luck. My my luck is over because I blew it again. One. Down 167. Oh. 167. That was close, that was bro, you you oh. wow. Oh. 160. I was one one away from going to the, oh. the grand slam. So oh, we haven't man. hit a grand slam yet. Ian, wow, dude. You can call never it trust giraffe knuckle. You can yeah. just right now I saw Ian put, I think, higher. Yeah, but the, oh. here here's here's the thing that, that I was throwing in there too that I didn't say that he was also he gets hurt. So he goes on these spurts where he gets hurt, and uh, that's what I was uh, trained. So I mean, it, it is what it is. Close. I mean, it was with, I mean, it was within ten. So okay, so here, here, here we go. Here's the tiebreaker right here. So we have three cards on the uh, bench. Angelo, you get the first pick. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you get to designate who gets the second pick, um, and that will determine the third pick. So Angelo, first pick. Uh, who do you want to have the second pick? Uh, let's go Kevin and then round it out with Cowboy Jack. All right. So here are your choices, Angelo. You have Yoan Moncada. And I, I actually, let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Well, what's so yeah. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to, um, I'm going to say home runs. Okay. Uh, let's see. How can I do this? You want to pick a number and then it is it closest to a number or you want to just higher, go high lower? Lower? Yeah. let's go high low. Okay. That's, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll pick a number. All right. So the number I'm going to pick is, uh, one of my favorite Depeche mode album, actually without my favorite, but it's a Depeche mode album. Uh, it's their live album called one Oh one. So right. 101. Um, we're gonna pick the 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 player that is closest to 101. Okay. Right. Okay. So, Angelo, like your choices pick. are Yoan Moncada, Carlos Santana, or Alex Bregman. Oh, jeez. I'm, go, I'm <laughs> gonna go Alex <laughs> Bregman. Closest Alex to 101. Bregman. Yeah. Now, is this about going over or just in total? Um, we're gonna do total. We'll do total. I was just wondering. All right, then I gotta so, go with. Uh, I got. I got. Hey, I gotta go with Santana, man. That's right. All right. Yeah. So, All right. Let me see. Yep. Let me. Uh, let me look at the board. Who am I gonna go with? Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll Sorry, take Jack. the south side. Damn. All right. Alex Bregman, career total. One seventeen. Nice. So you got to come within six right there, right? Or uh, 16. I got to have, mm-hmm. yeah. All right. 16. Carlos I don't, I don't Santana. Know I, I don't know. Carlos Santana. Right. 259. Oh, all right. So that's eliminated. Yep. Yoan Moncada. This actually is, who knows? I don't think it'd be has. pretty close. It might be pretty close. He's going to need more than – he's going to like 90-ish, right? Yep. And he has 70. Angelo, oh. the birthday boy, takes uh, it. The birthday the boy breaker. wins it. Cheers, brother. There you, you go. never did it any better. That's My it. Lord, That's that was a hard-fought battle. That was Ooh, a hard-fought battle. Is- I'm, I'm blown up. That is that hurt. That was that's that's what we call a Broadway, gentlemen. Yes. That is I've not that is Broadway in like twenty years. Jeez. Yeah. Yep. Well, we still have a match yeah. after this. We have TV oh, time God. remaining. <laughs> and, and, and hey, 
So to take things down a little bit, Michael Mondragon, why don't you talk yeah. about your last game as a soccer player? Okay, I, I will definitely do so right here. So this is this was my last soccer game ever. 1996, uh, I, I was actually, uh, I'm sorry, it's 97. Exactly. It's the summer of 97. I was going to move to Los Angeles. And uh, for those who uh, knew me back when I was younger, uh, I played baseball and I played soccer. I played competitive soccer. I played indoor. I played outdoor. I played a semi in a semi-pro league. I played against like World Cup players and and a lot of stuff and and, high, right. and univer uh, university players, et cetera, et cetera. Played played soccer and hooked up with a lot of chicks. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I left that part out, but uh, <laughs> but um, Michael, but, yeah. Uh, May I ask, uh, what position did you play? I played goalkeeper. Okay. So uh, I'm not, I'm actually I'm I'm five nine, but uh, you know goalkeepers now are like over six foot. So I was like you know, but I still played it. And it was uh, it was very interesting. Uh, I had a, I, I had a good career, but I was I was agile, but but uh, but and very hostile, but um, and mobile but, too. And mobile, that's that, for sure. That's the women. That's it. And, and so, um, so my very last game, it was actually a Sunday league. Um, it was at, uh, Scottsdale community college, home of the, uh, fighting artichokes. That is a actual true fact. Um, so, um, so it was a Sunday league. And if I, I was moving literally the next day. So it was a Sunday and moving the next Monday. I had my truck. I had it all loaded up, ready to go. If we would have won, I would have literally had a, a dilemma. I'm like, I have to fly back or or come back to for the final game because I was that's how I was going to end my career. Mm -hmm. So it's about, uh, I would say for those who know, each half is 45 minutes. So uh, 45 minutes goes to halftime. So 90 minutes is a full game. It was about 80 minutes, so about 10 minutes left, and. It is insanely hot. Like, like people are dropping on the field because it's so insanely hot. In, oh, so in, it's summer. It's summertime. Yeah, it's now, it's September. Is, yeah, it's September in, is in it on Arizona. on grass or turf? It's on grass. And actually, I won't even say if it's on grass because there's no grass in Arizona. Uh, okay, it's yeah, all right. like dirt and yellow. Saying, yellow. What yeah, was a run? Turf, turf might have been worse for the heat, but okay, gotcha. Yeah. So... So, um, a guy comes down and, you know, everybody's like, you know, Oh my God. And we're, we're down like two nothing or something like that. So we're starting to fight back. I, um, the guy comes down on the other team, comes down the, the, the right side and, uh, kicks the ball and it goes out. So it's a goal kick. So, uh, because there's a, when they kick the ball, it's a long way to go get it because there's nothing to stop it. So I, I, I make a left and I turn to go get the ball. I run face first into the goalpost. Oh no! And um, I still have the scar from it today, right here. It is a scar. Um, and I, I, I put, I have, I have like goalkeeping gloves on, and I, I, I put my hands up to my head like this. My, I, what's white? It's a white surface. It's completely red. Prince and I turn to my friend brother. Russ. I turn to my friend Russ, who I said. Um, uh, who I've known since, you know, high school. And I, and I said like, dude, is it bad? He goes, it's bad. <laughs> and, uh, so I go, Phew. so I wind up, um, walking off the field and there was actually a girl that I knew that, um, that I'd had a, a pretty rocky relationship with. And, uh, and she, and I said, she goes, she, as I'm walking off with holding my head together, um, she goes, is this the last I'm going to see of you before you move? <laughs> and I said to her, uh, without missing a beat, I said, isn't it appropriate? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I moved. So I, I, my first day that I moved into the, I, I moved to Silver Lake, which is right. Uh, is very close to Dodger stadium. Yeah. So I had these new roommates. I had one roommate I knew and I walked up, so I move with my big truck. I had stitches. I had like uh, eight on the outside, six on the inside. Ooh. And I knocked on the door and uh, here I am looking like Frankenstein. I'm like, hi, I'm your new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that Ooh. was my last day. And that's the last day that I played soccer. 
Um, and then um, that year, uh, well, uh, uh, later after that, I went into professional wrestling, which um, that that's a whole different story. So, um, so that's my that's my last soccer game in Arizona. I think you that's probably to- better than your last wrestling match story. So, cheers, Michael. Oh yeah, exactly. So yeah, I'm still alive and here to talk about it. I love so, you. Hard weighed yourself on your way out, dude. Oh, well, dude, dude. I, and it was it was bad. It Oof. was bad, bad, bad. You have pictures? I do. I do. Let's, I'll have let's to, get I'll one of those up on the Instagram, dude. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's do some baseball trivia to close it out. Angelo's birthday celebration here. Let's test your knowledge of baseball, and especially Angelo's. And well, and Kevin. Kevin used to be an Angels fan. Uh, uh, so w- both questions are the uh, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Could be the California Angels. Could be the Anaheim Angels. But uh, let's go for it right here. Oh no! Who is the only? Uh, Angels pitcher to throw a perfect game. Here are I, your choices. I'll write it down right now without anybody looking. Where's my Where's my thing? For the choices, <laughs> I'm gonna write this down. All right. Even, we want you to know. Down. We want to know in the chat too what what your uh, guesses are. So please put them in there. Right. There it is. All right. Nolan Ryan, right Mike Witt, Bo Belinsky, Clyde Wright, Irvin Santana. Or Jared Weaver. <laughs> making what? Making what? <laughs> that name? That name of the picture? I wish. I wish I wrote, I should have wrote that down. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. Yeah, I got a lot. Of, I have a lot of stories. I, I've lived a long, very fruitful life. <laughs> and hey, for those who don't know about Bo Belinsky, go to the, the Blue Baseball Instagram and learn about him through Cowboy Jack and I on Hazy History this past Sunday. That's right. That's right. Definitely an interesting hey. cat, at least. Yes. Battle scars. I got a lot of battle scars. Some of them show, some of them don't. Is that like mental or that uh, mental? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some are on the inside, some are on the outside. Wow. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Angelo, what do you got? I'm going to go with number two Mike Bobby Ain't My Junior Wit. There you go. There you go. Bubble Pug is in, agreeing with you. Um, who else we got? Greg Hall is also agreeing with you. Um, Ian has uh, Irvin Carlos Santana. Who do you got, Jack? Uh, now, this is who pitched a perfect game. Yes. Perfect that, game. What's, only what's, perfect the game what's, what's the difference between a perfect game and a no hitter? No one on base. No, it's literally no one on base. That'd be no, no. hits, no, no, no walks. No walk. 27 up, 27 down. That's right. Oh, crap. Is remember Bo Polinski, you got no yeah, That's what I wrote down, dude. Know, Gosh dang it. <laughs> oh, Jared Weaver. Hey, hey, Jack. What? You want to win? No. Why don't you why don't you agree with, with Angelo? No, it's Jared Weaver. Weaver. I'm trying to help you here. Agree with I the don't birthday want boy. your help, bro. Jared Weaver. All right? <laughs> I'm telling you to agree with the birthday boy. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> How would it be interesting? It's interesting because the All birthday right. guy knows the right answer. It's Mike Witt. The man who there got traded go. for Dave Winfield. Cool Witt. Jeez. Cool, cool Mike Witt. Oh. oh, there we go. Shows the answer. <laughs> right. Mike Witt. <laughs> Yep. So wait, Mike Witt got traded for Dave the Rave? Remember we talked about that on the show. He's I guy drink who... a lot, bro, and concussions. What do you want from me? <laughs> I drink a lot and got concussed too, but I, I remembered that. Yeah, but you're like Rain Man. I know. Yeah. So he it was at, uh, in a September game in 1984, the only uh, perfect game for the uh, Angels. All right, Cowboy well Jack, done. who's the man with Mike Witt right there? It's, uh, it's uh Mr. September, dude. <laughs> and what college did he go to, Jack? Uh, Arizona State University. Yeah. 
Thank you. So, Mr. <laughs> October. Yes. Right? Oh, uh, I got to buzz you. <laughs> hate this that. was September, but uh, but the, it, uh, he was Mr. October. Yes. Okay. It's very close. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, uh, you guys uh, and your perfectionists. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the playoffs versus the regular season. <laughs> wow. Right. Here we go, Angelo. Who is the only Angels player who hit for the cycle? Twice. Here are your choices. Sean, don't call me Chone Figgins. I have two names in my head. Dave Winfield, Jim Fragosi, Dan Ford, Mike Trout, or Oh Tani Shohei. Wow. Woo. I had two names in here, but I, I, the two names I thought of in here, my bow, I forgot about <laughs> one of them. Like, oh, please. Uh. Well, Escobar uh, just did it for the Mets. Yes, he did. That's the first one of the Mets in like a decade, they said. So. Yeah. And he was playing with the Diamondbacks, uh, Escobar, but that's not, yeah. not on this list. I like the Dan Ford got- represented in here. Dan you Ford. Me that's... Jackson, you, you tell me Reggie Jackson didn't do that? <laughs> <laughs> this must be tough because no one in the chat has an answer. No. But, it, this is. I had two so you can assume them. every one of these guys has done this. But who no. did it? No. Who did it twice? There's a couple more likely than others. So. How you feel about this, Angelo? I'm feeling pretty good about my Angels trivia. All right. Because the first thing right. I my head is up here, and then the second thing I thought was up here. So who do you got, Angelo? So the only Angel to hit for the cycle twice is Jim Fergosi. Ooh. And fun fact, the second time he did it, he hit it in reverse order. So home oh, run triple. Wow. wow. So bubble pug going with, with that choice as well. Yeah. Uh, Ed going with yeah. Fregosi. Uh Ian going with uh, Dan. I can drive a Ford. Uh, Greg Hall going with Sean. Yep. <laughs> I, I refuse to call that Sean. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Jack, who do you got? You know what, man? I was going to go with uh, Jim Ferrigno Ferrosi, Fregosi, but <laughs> since it's such a popular option, I'm going to go. I'm going to go outside. Uh, they call him Miguel Trucha down south. Mike Trout. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Spanish for Trout. Mike yeah, Trucha? yeah. <laughs> M- Miguel Trucha is Mike Trout in Spanish. Totally. Wow. Arriba la raza, bro. I do like that better than the Millville meter. Uh, so, yeah, uh, exactly. I will. I will say that. Uh, uh, Kevin, <laughs> it's funny because the first thing I thought of was Tony Figgins, and I'm Sean, like, Sean and, Figgins. Oh, 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 what? And then Sean. I thought of Gosi was the second name, and Trout threw me off. But you know what? Let's just go with Tony, even though I think it's for Gosi. I'll go with Tony's so the first thing in my head. Let Angela have all uh-huh. the guts, all the glory. Well, Angelo is hitting the home runs here tonight yes, on his birthday. Jim hey, Fergosi, bro. there you go. Did it in 68 and 64 against some pretty top tier teams here. Wait, he did uh, it holding all those bats? How yeah, yeah that's how he got he got the cycle wow. in one at bat. They just do multiple pitches. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. I also like this one, uh Bella Fergosi, which actually goes back to the Machusa. <laughs> Bella Lugasi. <laughs> wow. Good. Very good, Ed. Good job. Yeah, that, that's that's awesome. Yeah, total birthday luck, and uh, but yeah. also baseball knowledge and and uh, Angels right. knowledge and Fergosi, obviously, uh, you know has a lot of history with. Uh, uh, what, what, he was a manager uh, of the he Angels was. at one yeah. point, and the, Philly, right? and the Phillies too, I believe, when they made the World that's Series right, Phillies as well, games. right. Well, it's, it's was, nice to see that he got to manage a major league team when he moved to the Phillies, <laughs> yes. and he pretty much like. Was the like most famous angel player of all time by in like by like it, even like eighty in the mid eighties he was still like the guy really more more famous than than Mister September. 
I mean, <laughs> locally. I say locally. Ah, okay, uh, locally. okay. All right. Yeah. You know, did was he? Like, like, did he? Did he work? Did he work for a car dealership like our friend uh, Bo Belinsky? I don't think he had to because he had to be the manager of the Phillies in the nineties. So I think oh, he's all right. Okay, well. yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that 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 is the show we have for you today. If you like Angela, uh, everything well that we're doing here, what's that? I said Angelo, well done. Angelo, Mark, we he marked yeah, through yeah, all of it. Good job. We put Angelo over without him realizing yeah. we just put over. If you'd like to become a, a supporter of uh, everything we do here at the Beer Baseball blog, you can go to our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash beer baseball. We also have our uh, merch that you can get at beerbaseball.store. Here's where you can follow us on social media, uh, yeah, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and Jackie Martling's new favorite, TikTok. Uh, guys, um, I know that we were talking about before all episode. Happy birthday, Angela Trinidad. Uh, any last words, Kevin, uh, before we go? Oh, no, Kevin's we muted. Let, did we? Did he get muted? We lost. I, I we muted lost myself it. because I, I thought this is the end. You said my last words. I was just getting ready to just <laughs> my heart, burn some wow. paperwork. I'm just getting my computer to burn it and be like, no one needs to know what's happening with me. You know, I'm totally fine. There's nothing to worry about. You know. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good All right. Well, eight last words. That that takes a lot. But I'll just leave it to this. Tomorrow is going to be a Pacific. I'll do Pike and Packs episode twenty one. Uh, I knew because I was trying to figure out when I'm open. So I'm going to go to 1987. I got a pack of Donruss and a pack of Fleer. And I have, um, Angel, the name of that, uh, Neon Doodles. Is that the name of the beer? Neon Boodles. Neon Boodles. Yeah, thank you. I have one of those in my fridge. I'm going to have that tomorrow. With these, that's going to be on our Instagram page at 7 p.m. Pacific Live. We'll be live, pal. Right, right on. Uh, Cowboy Jack. Well, I would say watch this Sunday our Instagram page at Beer Baseball Blog. Uh, we're going to be covering Steve Lefty Carlton. Oh, we are. Okay. Yes, we right are. Right. Uh, happy birthday, Angelo, brother. Like getting to meet you through this show and you becoming part of the family has been such a great honor for me. Thank you so much, guys, for letting me be involved. Everybody in the Beer Baseball Blog Bruniverse. We love you. Thank you so much. And happy pride, everybody. Love it. Love it. Angelo. Thank you guys so much for all the birthday love. Cowboy Jack, Kevin, Michael, love you, brothers. Uh, thanks and a shout out to uh, Daniel from Halo Haven and Big Teach 45, uh, my brother from another mother for the uh, uh, sending the messages in for the show. Uh, thanks to all the birthday love out in the chat. And happy pre-birthday, Scott Loss. Absolutely right. Yeah. That's right. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a it was a fun show. It was a great birthday. So thanks for the gifts, and uh, don't forget to tune in this Saturday for beer and break with Angelo, another brand new episode. Uh, go back to the video archives to watch all previous beer and breaks. Uh, go ahead and check out uh, the video we did at Ontario Comic Con Revolution a couple weeks ago. Super fun, completely different uh, universe from what we're used to, but uh, definitely an, an enjoyable watch. Uh, and then I'll be at the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes Marvel Night on June 18th, and I'll be vlogging my experience there. So stay tuned for that video coming soon. <laughs> Bro, right if you on. see Black Widow or uh, or uh, uh, Captain Marvel, <laughs> see, see if they like fat guys that are going bald. Because uh... <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> All right, brother, you got it. Love it. So we will see you next Tuesday for another beer baseball broadcast. Happy birthday, Angelo, and good night. We'll take care. Bye-bye.